Hi guys, how's everyone tonight? So I want to make a little video, sorry about the blinding light behind me. But I want to make a little video today, I had a question asked to me about uh, handling my birds in my flying loft. How do I catch my birds so I can take them on an event? Uh, I do a few different things, I, I, I do a food, you know, uh, I keep them hungry. I, that's a very, very important thing to do. And, it's not cruel, you know, I give them plenty of food when I do, I just feed them once a day so they learn to come and go as I want them to do. Uh, I, I also, these guys are hungry, so the bright light behind us is where the trap is, the bob doors. Outside there is a little uh, dog crate size, like a large dog kettle that, with a door that opens on it. That's what they sit in all day. So I, I teach these guys, and I'm going to see if that works for us today. A couple of things, and I'll show you. I open up the trap, and they're hungry. These guys are all hungry, so I start clapping my hands. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Let's go, guys. Come on. See, I'm not doing anything. I'm clapping my hands. Come on, guys. Now, if I had a box outside that, they'd be just piling in a box. That'd be perfect, right? And then you could just take that box and go do a release somewhere. Come on, guys. Good job, guys. Good job. Come on. Come on. Good job, Mama. Here come the, the Dulop and the Pakistani. I do fly all kinds of birds. I love them. I, I just do. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. Come on, big Dewey. Come on. I got one more on the floor. She's trying to lay an egg. I do not. I don't want to say do not. I have one behind me here, but I, I do not like floor babies, but that's a different story. So, and I'm going to show you on the food, right? So give me one second. I'm going to pause you. All right. So I got their food bucket. You know, I got some food. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I got the bob door set now, so they got to come through the trap. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on, guys. They're going to make a fool of me now, because I had their doors closed. Come on, guys. Come on. There you go. There they go. They're coming back in for food. So we can we food train our birds so that they work for us. I think my voice in here is making it goofy. So, okay, as far as catching and handling birds, they're all devouring on that food right now. That'd be the perfect time to go down there and grab a bird, any bird you want. I'm gonna let them guys eat for a second. I'm gonna let them trap, and then I'll get them in here and show you uh, how I actually catch them. But I wanted to show you how food manipulation works very well for making the bird come and go and do what you want it to do. So. Give me one second. All right, so I removed their food just kind of only for the purpose of this video. Uh, so when I catch a bird, you know, these guys are all upset now. That's kind of the best example, right? So what I do is I observe the bird. First off, I have all my birds tagged, in case anyone's wondering. I do tag all of my birds. So. They have bird bands, and they have uh, colored bands. So I know who I'm going after when I go. But, so what I would do, we have one right here. So I, I, I kinda, there's an eye contact sort of thing with this, okay? So, so you just stay calm, you keep it cool, you know, don't freak out when they come by. 
and, and now I see the bird I'm going to get, but I don't want to make eye contact and stare at him all the way up to him because he, he's going to run. He's going to take off flight or flight, right? That's their pattern. So you just kind of walk up and you just do this. And I grab him. I got a two-handed, over-their-head kind of face. You know, most importantly, I'm keeping their wings down. That's very important. And then what I usually do is I put them to my belly or my chest, and then I can manipulate them. I, I actually, the first thing I do is I, I pull their feet back, and I, and I bring their feet back, their tail, and their two tips of their wings, and I put all that in one hand. And then if you give a little squeeze, I'm not squeezing hard, just two fingers, you give a little squeeze there, and that bird will sit basically right in your hand. You know, you don't need two hands to do that. So that's that's how I catch a bird and handle a bird. You know, you, you, you got to... You have to see the bird and what they're about to do. You know, you have to know that that your approach, like that guy, he's, he's on it. He's going to move again. He's ready to go. He's going to be a hard one to catch because he's, he's on his tippy toes. He's ready to jump. But you just got to, like, not look at him and just, you know, and I got him in. I put him in my chest, and I can pull his wings back, everything I need to do because he's on my chest. It's like a third hand. And then I pull them legs back, and you can hold them just like that. So... That, that's basically, that's how I would go to someone, a, a dove release, and I would hand the birds to people. I, I hand them to them in their hands like this. I know some people hand them the other way, you know, like this with their feet out, but you have that problem, right, where they can grab their feet on your hands. So I, so I personally, I always grab them, put them to my chest, pull their feet back, grab their, their wings and keep their wings in that little tail position there, and now you got your bird. So, I mean, that's how I do it. It's a sneak attack, it's a slow, calm, uh, you know, be ready to strike kind of a thing. You know, see, right to my chest every time, it's, it's a natural reaction. Feet back, wings tucked, bird in hand. Uh, they do flap around, they do make a big mess. You just gotta come in, tagging them helps, you know, tagging, you know, I could say, you know, that's that's my old white tag there, 2016. She's hard to catch though, but she's quick. She jumps around, but I know who that bird is. You know, she's an older bird, a breeder. She lost her mate a little while ago, and she's just kind of in here hanging out with my, my flying birds. She does fly, but, but I know my birds because of the tags on their feet, right? That's how I know my birds. And then that makes it a lot easier when catching them too, because you can come into your loft and say, well, I don't know if that's the one I need, or I don't know if that's the one I need. Maybe it's over there, that's the one I need. Put a tag on them, you know who they are. You know, I, I, that's one thing I do. So I hope my video helps you tonight. And uh, I wanna thank you personally for suggesting to make a video like this. And I hope this helps some people out. I know my techniques are a little different, but uh, that's what I do. And, and anyways, I just hope it helps, guys. And uh, give me a thumbs up, like it, subscribe. You know, do all that stuff so we can keep this uh, humane bird release going strong. So, all right, guys. Thank you. Bye.